Hi Chessable friends, this is a video to show the integration between Chessable and ChessVision AI that I recently discovered and would like to share with you. So you see my course here, the Scotch Gambit Modern Attack. I go to one of the lines. So here the second line, which is frequently played. And we are looking at the position after Bishop B6. And now I activate the Chrome extension, Chess Vision AI. I have to scan for white. I do the scan of the current position and I see that there is one video. There are six chessable courses and 25 games or over 25 games played with this position in the chess.com master database. So let's have a look. Immediately what you recognize here is that I can activate um, the engine of Lee Chess and I can access the openings databases from Leeches, so the master database, the Leeches database, and I can configure exactly what I want to look at um, in, this, uh, in this database. Here I can enlarge, if I want to, right, I can enlarge the Chess Vision AI screen. For instance, if I want to watch the video, right, you can see I start the video and now and when black this, goes bishop b6 trying to this um, video search goes to the exact position in the video in which this position occurred so it doesn't take you just to the to the uh, video in which this position occurs but it looks at the exact position that you're searching for okay so let's reduce the size. So within Chessable I have the Leeches engine, I have the Leeches openings book and if I go here right and I look at which courses this occurs you can see the six courses in which this occurs. So um, let's return where we were and if I go to the games you can see here the chess database from chess.com is being searched and if I for instance say I would like to have model games of players over 2400 I just add one filter and I get here model games that I can use to look into for the position that I'm studying in Chessable. And of course what you can also do is go to an analysis board in chess.com or in Leechess. So you can see here one button if I click it immediately you can see here I have the full functionality of, um, let's say, an analysis board in Leeches. I, I can go further here. And of course, also what I could do is copy this fan and then start uh, a game against the bot to practice the current position. And here you can see, again, I have all the information I need to continue. So this is very powerful um, and I have been also using it to add videos to my courses, the private courses and also uh, to my public courses because there are different angles to learning. So now let's look um, at, imagine that you played a game and this was a game I played for the Leech S4545 League against Kale, uh, JJ Lang, four years ago. And um, let's look at the position and I just want to like you to show, uh, so after G6, right, if I here activate Chess Vision AI and white is to move, right, so I have to do a scan. And then I see, right, there are over 10 courses. What I would like to show is the following. So you can see again, immediately I have all the information available. But if I go here to Chessable, right, you can also see that my private course, Nydorf, which has not been published, takes me to the relevant uh, uh, variations in which this position occurred. So you can see I, after G6, uh, my private openings book says I should continue with Long Castle. And in the game against JJ Lang, I play the move Bishop E2. So this is a very efficient way to 
uh, air, do your game analysis and look at where you deviated from your own repertoire. And of course, you can only look in private courses if you are in um, if you are locked into Chessable before you start this scan. Um, and again, of course, right, if we go a little bit further in the game, I'd like to show you, right, so after knight a5, queen c7, right, this position, let's do one more scan. So in this case, uh, white is to move again, right, so I do a scan, and I see here that there are three chessable courses in which this position occurs. Right, and if I go here, you can see that chess structures. I go into this position, and there is one reference game from Victor Bolagan against Baris Eason. If I go into that position, I can look at, at, at the current position that we have on hand. So after Queen c7, I continued c4, but JJ Lang didn't continue b6, which is questionable here, but continued actually with e4. So he played the recommended move, a move from the Grandmaster Guide. So once again, a very powerful way to, um, to uh, do your chess analysis after you play the game, um, be it on Lee Chess or Chess.com. And um, of course, again, I can go to um, chess.com to look there also for the model games that have been played in this position. Um, so I just wanted to share this so you can use it from going from Lee Chess towards Chessable, but also uh, the way I started out by being in Chessable and then activating it, then you get immediately, as you saw here, you get the um, you get the uh, Lee Chess environment and I can choose whether this is sufficient for me. I can size it, I can watch videos while I stay in Chessable or if I would like to I can just immediately start an, uh, uh, a new page in Lee Chess with the full functionality and uh, with one press on a button. Thank you for attention and I hope this was useful to you.